I think one of the most exciting things that people don't really realize is that birds are living dinosaurs. And dinosaurs giving rise to birds probably did the same thing that birds do. And virtually all birds use their feathers for display. You think about a triceratops, I mean, they have this huge uh, fan basically on the back of their head and there's no evidence that Triceratops used its horns for any kind of aggressive behavior because as they got bigger and bigger their horns became hollow and their shields became very thin. They were probably all for display and because they're displaying very much like birds, more than likely dinosaurs danced like birds. kind of dances that you might imagine with dinosaurs. They would be spectacular looking and it would be spectacular motion. It's all speculation trying to figure out how they're going to display, but that's pretty cool. If you look at the brain, it looks like multiple Grand Canyons. If you look at a mouse brain, you don't see that. It's very smooth. The outer mantle of the brain, the cortex, is very smooth in a mouse. But we have all these grooves and valleys in a human brain.